You said so pounds. I said pounds because I read the little euro thing wrong because I'm a fool. Daniel's got a question for us. OS 10, huh? Is there any word from Apple and whether they're ever going to release their OS 10 to be able to run on non Mac boxes? <laughs> Yeah, David, what uh. he said. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Hey, you know what? It, we never would have thought that Apple would have run on, on Intel, switched from, switched from the, the, the beleaguered, uh, overstated, lied about performance of the G5 processor. I said it. They lied about the performance. And then they turned 180 degrees when they had to walk away from the whole line of processors. But no, Daniel, um, it, one, of the, one of the reasons OS X works so well is because they have a very narrow sort of bundle of hardware to work with. They control that narrow bundle of hardware. They own it. They beat it with a stick. And, uh, you know, if they, you know, they're going to run into a lot of, if they try to make it compatible with everything, a la Windows XP and or Windows Vista, they're going to run into a lot of the, the problems that plague uh, the Windows operating systems. So, you know, it could, Daniel, it could happen, but Apple has never said anything to us about uh, selling it separately from computers. Uh, people have cracked it and have it running on different devices on the web, but just because you can get it running on a PC doesn't mean you'll actually have drivers for all of the hardware devices inside your PC. Yeah, so, I, I, I don't see it happening anytime soon. It, but who knows, you know, everything could change. Because, like, you know, it's, it's not Apple Computer anymore. No, it's Apple Inc. Apple Inc. Ah. Yeah, they're not a computer company anymore. Packet gardens, cat problems, free antiviruses. 